Um, let's talk quickly about marketing and promotion. How how do you how do you promote the various segments of your business? What's been working for you, and maybe what hasn't? Um, so for self service, um, Facebook has been the best. You know, Facebook ads, uh, mm -hmm. getting the word out um, that that we exist. Um, how awesome we are. It's always use pictures. You know, we have a beautiful facility, show it off. Mm -hmm. um, here's the amenities, you know, that you can, your three ways to pay, free Wi Fi. You mm -hmm. can buy soap there. We're fully attended. Uh, you buy snacks, drinks, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's for self service. For drop off, I've had good luck with both Facebook ads and Google ads. Um, and then for pickup and delivery, I really think Google ads is pretty much your, your mm -hmm. best bet. Um, don't discount SEO. I think SEO is a little bit uh, search engine optimization for your websites. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of laundromats that just have a Facebook page and th that's great to start. Um, mm -hmm. Go on to, to GoDaddy or something like that. I do all mine with GoDaddy and do them okay. all myself, but for good or bad, but um you can go on and do it yourself and have it just have a basic page if nothing else. Mm -hmm. But I do think SEO, like I said, is kind of on the downhill side a little bit. Mm -hmm. And Google's facing is everybody Google's things. Mm -hmm. um, yes, there's Bing for search engine, but typically it's Google. But um, um, Google seems to be leaning more towards paid ads for, oh, oh, you, you've paid an ad paid us a little bit of money. I think we might bump you up a little bit. I can't prove that, but it just seems to be the the way things are headed. Um, mm -hmm. But those are the, yeah, mm -hmm. the three segments the, and they're very different businesses, self-service, drop off and pick up and delivery. So you right. have to approach them differently. Right. You know, right. Different marketing, right. different, mm -hmm. different stuff, but use pictures, always use pictures. Right. Right. And, and try to not... try to be not stock photos. Oh my gosh. Use your own pictures. I, I loathe stock photos, mm -hmm. but that's, that's me. Yeah, no, it's very obvious when it, when stock photos are being used. And uh, I think that's great advice. And, and as yeah. you said, it's not, it's not one size fits all. You've got three separate segments yeah. and uh, you need to look at it that way. No, that's great. Great advice. Pro professional uh, photographers aren't that mm -hmm. expensive. I mean, They're it's not, not going to cost you right. thousands of dollars. There's mm -hmm. the gal here in town who's done all my headshots for real estate. She's yeah. done my real estate photography. She also does business photography. A um, couple hundred bucks. I mean, go to our website, um, mm -hmm. you know, laundrystationcast.com, click on the photos tab. They mm -hmm. did all those photos. I can't mm -hmm. do that with my iPhone 12. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they know what they're doing. They're very, very good. They're very polished. Right, right. And, you know, and, and as you mentioned, that's a great cross crossover between uh, real estate and uh, laundromats. It's again, yeah. you've got that photography. Photography is so important in any business and any yeah. kind of marketing, but yeah. uh, there you, yeah. go. You, had the, you had those connections already. Yeah. Um, 